Hello, I'm Emmy van Dersen, and I'll be talking to you about friendship, from an existential perspective, of course. Now, we all know what friendship is. Friendship is a very good and important thing in life. We all need friends. None of us can live alone entirely. And even if we live with our families mostly, and hopefully our friends with those family members we live with, we also need friends who we can count on for other things in life. So friendship is to be close with people that we do not live with and to meet with them regularly and to share interests with them and to enjoy life with them, to have certain activities that you both enjoy and both like to get on with. So some people you know, have friends they go swimming with, or friends they go camping with, or walking with, or friends they play football with, or, you know, do other things with. Mostly, these are physical things, these are hobbies, these are activities. So, sometimes they get more specifically social, or like going to the pub with people, or they become about more intellectual things like going to the movies or going to the theatre. But it's quite rare that friends like all the things that we like, all exactly the same things, you know, although that's the kind of thing you look for in a partner or in a spouse. But um, friends you can specialise in. You can have friends for particular things and then you don't expect them to share the other things in your life with you. So people have friends from work and then they have friends who are neighbours or they have friends who um, like the sports they like or friends who like to um, go on holiday the way they like. Yes, or they're friends from childhood that you have known from when you were tiny. And that's great, isn't it? Because then you don't have to expect too much from those people and they can't expect too much from you either. And that works well in life, you know, when you know what the limits about something are and you don't expect things from somebody that they can't give you. Because as soon as you start to raise your expectations and expect that somebody can do all of that and can be very much like a husband or wife, then things go wrong much more easily. So friendships are best when they are quite limited and specific, except in those very rare occasions where friends are really more like life partners and they get to know you through and through and you open up to them and you start to value each other like, you know, you would if you lived with somebody all your life, hopefully. And that works very well for everyone concerned. Friends then become so much part of your life that it's very difficult to conceive of your life without them. And losing a friend is a huge blow to your life and to your self-esteem and to your sense of enjoyment in the world. But of course, mostly friends are not like that. Mostly friends are much more limited in their capacity to share your life with you. And so if you stick to that, and you stick to the limits that you have set together, it will be great to be able to just not expect so much of another person and still be able to enjoy much of life with them. Okay, now we come to the really important bit, which is what do you owe in a friendship and what do you expect from a friend? And the answer is, you shouldn't expect anything. The less you expect and the more you give and the better it goes. But nevertheless, I think it's difficult to continue being friends with people who fail to be loyal to you when you are alone or when you are going through a difficult time. At such times, friendships are tested, of course. They turn out to be more or less committed or more or less dedicated. 
than you originally thought they were. And I think that's a good thing. That's one of the advantages of going through crises and difficult situations, which is to find out who your real friends are, as we say. Yes, that is when, you know, you discover that somebody goes a mile for you and that they are willing to stick by your side even when you're not popular or when your life is not looking like it's going anywhere. But then again, of course, there are also friends who enjoy that kind of thing and who kind of take advantage of it. So you might find out that people like you better when you're in difficulties and they find it harder to be your friend when things are going well. And of course these things are different for all of us. Some of us really want to be with people just to have fun and good times and others like to be with people in order to understand things better or to get closer to other people or to use the closeness to work some things out about the world. So we all have our particular interests in friendship and our particular needs in friendships. And so we need to find friends who match that pattern, who have the same sort of ideas. And that's not always easy to do. So think for yourself what your different friends are for and about and which of those you would really like to hang on to for the rest of your life and how you might deepen that friendship and how particularly when you're tested by life or they are tested by life you can be for them in the way they need you to be or you can make sure that you ask the other to be with you the way you need them to be because that's how Real friendship is forged, friendship that is so deeply woven together by the hardships of life that you just know that you can count on each other. And to be able to count on another person is probably one of the most wonderful things in the world. So value your friendships, think about them a bit, enjoy them a lot. See them through, be true to them, make the most of them, thrive on them and always be prepared to give just a tiny little bit more than you might have expected to get yourself and see how you can develop and evolve those friendships and have the joy of knowing you're not quite alone in the world. Take good care of each other. Bye.